Hey everyone, see Wolf Kayak Adventures here. I got a couple baits I'm gonna go with, over with you today. It's the Razor Baits. It's the uh, six inch Big Mama, Big Fat Worm, and the five and a quarter inch Dirty Dog Fluke Style Bait. So I'm gonna go over some rigging and how I like to run them and the scenarios that I think that they're gonna work the best in. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the video. I want to talk to you about today. They're uh, made by Razor Baits. The first one is a five and a quarter inch dirty dog. Um, it's kind of a fluke style bait. Nice split tail on it. Thin profile. Good action, but these are actually pretty uh, durable baits. I've been throwing them for a little while. And then the other one that I'm going to talk to you about is the Big Mama. Um, and both of these are in a watermelon red flake color. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite colors to throw when I'm bass fishing. So what this one is a fat profile worm. Okay, see how fat that is? But then it's also got a flat curly tail on it. So you're gonna get a lot more action when you're dragging it through the water. Uh, both these are excellent baits. So I thought I'd go through today and show you a couple different ways that I rig them. And both of these uh, baits are available on the crossboneoutfitters.com website. Um, go there, check it out. We have, we're adding a whole bunch of new baits and everything else. So, very cool stuff coming down the pipeline. Okay, so the first one, let's talk about the Big Mama. That's the Big Fat Worm, okay? Um, right now on Lake Havasu, we've got a ton of weeds everywhere. Like, to get my kayak out, I pretty much have to paddle out 100, 150 yards to get out of the really thick matted weeds. Now, a lot of you punchers out there are gonna say, sweet, you know, that's where all the fish are, but it's only four to six foot of water and I'm not finding a lot of big fish there. I'm finding a lot of small ones, but the big fish for, on this lake seems to be out, uh, you know, a, almost a quarter mile offshore and you gotta look for steep drop offs, you know, tight contour lines on your graph and that's where we're finding the big ones holding. Um, and they're wanting a bait to go right over the top of their heads. They're in about 22, 24 foot of water, or they want something drug on the ground. Um, it's gonna make some racket, you know, it's gonna have some action. And that's mostly what I've been doing. That's what we're headed out to do today, but I wanted to talk to you about these first. So I've got it on a fluorocarbon leader. Um, there's a lot of rock structure, everything else down there. So I've got it on 12 pound. Um, rather than like six, which you would expect, you know, summertime finesse fishing. But with all the structure and the weeds and everything else, I, I stepped it up a little bit. I've got a Wu Tungsten. Um, you know, the, the weight is going to vary depending on how deep you're fishing, how fast you want it to get it down. Um, sometimes the fish are going to want it to fall really fast. Other times they're going to want it to fall slow and just kind of flutter down. Every day is different. you got to figure out what the fish want. So I've got it rigged on a 4 aught Gamma Katsu round bend. Um, and I've got it just Texas rigged. The point's gonna be text posed in there so it's weedless, because there's still, you know, it's out past the weeds, but there's still clump of weeds and everything on the bottom. Um, I will also throw this one weed, uh, uh, weightless. So I'll just remove the tungsten weight and I'll throw that up around the little potholes in the grass up here in the shallower water, or I'll drag it across the top. This works really well in a faster tree across the top of the water. This will splash a lot in the water and I'll have quite a few like, uh, like a top water bite on this. The other one that I got rigged up to show you, and again, 12 pound fluoro. I like to throw most of these weedless though. Um, this is primarily what I'm gonna use to skip across the top of the surface around all these weeds and everything. I'm gonna throw them into potholes, things like that. So on my way out to the deeper water, I'll be throwing this. That's the nice thing about having a pedal drive kayak is I can be fishing while I'm headed to my fishing spot. So if I see a pothole in the grass or I see a nice clump of matted grass on the surface, you know, actually breaking the top of the surface, I'll take this and I'll chuck it, okay? The other way that I like to throw these, and I got it rigged on a 3 odd Gamma Cats round bend hook, um, and I've got it rigged so you still have quite a bit of action from the tail. I only stayed in the fattest part of the bait. The other way that I like to rig these 
if I wanted to get deeper, and I might rig rig it when I get out there because it's about 20 foot of water, I like to throw them on a weighted swim bait hook. This is an owner, three aught. Uh, phenomenal hooks, extremely sharp. I throw, you know, anywhere from 30 to 65 pound braid, depending on what rod and reel setup I've got. And you don't bend these hooks, you know. You're bring if you get hung up, you're probably gonna bring whatever it is you're hung up on back to the boat. I've dragged up some pretty big logs out of this lake using these hooks. So, phenomenal, phenomenal way to rig. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go out throw these. Um, if I get any uh, fish or something on them, I unfortunately don't have my regular video camera today on my kayak, so I'll uh, I'll amend this video with some pictures of any fish that I catch. All right, hopefully this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't done that already, and I'll see you next video. Tight lines, guys.